Hey guys, so Bungie just dropped their first post about the new build crafting system coming into effect next season, and since we've got over 200 build videos on the channel here over the past few years, I thought it would make sense to go through the main changes since it's my channel's primary content, as I do make build videos every season. So I'm going to keep this pretty short, but the full post will be linked down below. So first up, our loadouts. We are going to be able to create up to 10 loadouts and save them which will appear sort of like the appearance screen we already have and we will be able to share these loadouts with the community more easily. A new mod customization screen to preview all the mods you have for your builds as well as a weapon preview one too. Champion counters are now being spread between artifact perks, subclass abilities and more. This will mean that when a player is radiant for example, you're going to be able to have anti-barrier rounds to stun them during that time, which does open up a lot more build opportunities around endgame PvE. They're also overhauling pretty much all mods in the game, removing some, adding some new ones and changing some existing ones. So they're removing energy types from mods and armor, which means you'll no longer need to have every armor element to slot in certain mods, like a radiant light for example being an arc armor, something I've been really wanting for a while now. They also talk about reducing armor mod costs and making it so that artifact mods are now perks and they don't need to be slotted in, as well as weapon type specific specific mods are now becoming damage type specific mods. Now to dive deeper, charger light mods are now being changed to armor charge mods as a different system. And elemental well mods are now changing too, sort of, in terms of interactions with your subclass. You can read it all if you want down below, but I'll go into more detail in my builds next season with this anyway, so moving on. War my mods are being removed. We're also going to have a new guardian rank system where you can unlock all mods when reaching rank 6, and they're also removing match game from endgame PvE. So there's quite a lot of changes coming with Lightfall, and I think it's going to be great because we're going to be able to have more ways to make unique builds, and like I mentioned with Radiant Light being able to stun barriers, I think that's going to be a huge change, and this will definitely make build crafting much better with a lot more options to choose from because already I have builds that give me infinite radiant so I can definitely see this being a good change come lightful. What do you guys think?